Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's solve the problem C uh, from the weekly contest 383. So after reading the problem, most of them will give up because you see the big descriptions and you see there are so many conditions mentioned over here and you feel like this is not a cup of tea and you will give up. But if you read this question twice and thrice and if you understand what exactly the problem is saying, then it's like a basic implementation. So first we will drill down the question. You will understand every every bit of the question clearly then we will see the approaches you uh, after understanding the question you can do in different approaches so you can see the solution step anywhere you can see now let's first understand the problem here you are given a zero indexed m cross and grid image which represent a gray cycle images where image ij represent a pixel with intensity of 0 to 255 he is saying that every value this is an every cell and every image in that cell has an intensity ranging up to 0 to 255 we don't care about that but okay you are also given a non-negative integer threshold and he is giving some integer threshold he is giving some threshold so two pixels image a b c d are said to be adjacent if a minus c plus b minus d equals 1 that means suppose we have an uh, grid and we are at position we are adjacent if if it is here or if it is here only left or bottom or you can go here or top if we, in these positions only you will get the absolute difference as one so these are only my adjacent cells you can take you can take few coordinates and you can check you will get this now a region is three cross three subgrid where the absolute difference in intensity between any two adjacent pixels is less than or equals to threshold. He is saying that, uh, suppose if you consider my threshold, threshold as 10, and if my this position is 30, and if my adjacent is 20, then it's valid, 30 minus 20, which is less than or equals to 10. Suppose my this value is 10. Now, my intens uh, the difference of intensity is 20 and it is greater than threshold so it is invalid so if it is invalid so if it is invalid then the 3 cross 3 grid is not a valid grid so we will check for the multiple all pixels in the region belongs to the belong to that region note that a pixel can belong to multiple regions he is saying that one pixel can be belongs to multiple regions so we will see that thing now in the example cases you need to calculate zero indexed m cross and grid the result of ij is the average intensity of the region to the image suppose if you are at this cell and this cell is included in so many three cross three subgrids if it is included in this subgrid and if it is included in some other subgrid then and if it is valid and if it is valid this condition needs to be satisfied threshold condition and if it is valid then we will take the averages and rounded down to average intensity that means he's saying that uh, rounded down average intensities of this range that means suppose if it is 9 by 2 we will get 4.5 we will down it to 4 only rounded down to nearest integer if image of ij does not belongs to any region then we will keep result of ij equals to image of ij if it is not valid if suppose this cell is not valid because this cell is not valid that means my left right top and this four directions my threshold is not valid so this is not valid statement then directly i will uh, instead of calculating the result i will directly return my answer of ij not written i will store now let's see now let's see with uh, various examples suppose if you are taking this grid this grid is uh, three cross uh, i have made a mistake here it, come, it should come like this and should be this should be this mm, right uh, consider this is not there so we have three columns and we have four rows three cross four and if you see my green part green part is my one subgrid it should be only three cross three and my red part is another subgrid so this can be my scenario or else suppose if you are taking four cross three suppose if you are taking four cross three this red region is my one subgrid and my this green region is my another grid another grid. suppose if you are going with this this is my four cross four if you see here 
these all subgroups you can form and if you see this position is occurring thrice in three subgroups it is occurring you can see it is in green red blue and black so it is getting in three subgroups so if it is valid for three subgroups if it is valid for sorry it four subgroups one two three four, four subgroups so i will calculate the sum and divided by four i will do divided by four so divided by four so this sum what is this sum this sum states that now if you have three cross three grid suppose we have three cross three grid and all the values of this grid divided by nine average of all these values average of all these values so in this we will store for first grid second grid third grid these are all my four sums and divided by how many how many regions it is valid so sum divided by four suppose my black region is not valid suppose black region is not valid because it is not matching my threshold then it will be sum divided by three sum divided by three if my blue region is not valid then it will be sum divided by two and if nothing is valid if nothing is valid directly i will return this cell i will store directly this cell i think you have got it uh, you can try you can try by yourself you can try to read the question again and try to understand uh, try to understand more bit and try to draw these few scenarios and try to understand how you can solve this now let's see now i think you have tried for at least 20 minutes now let's see the approach now he we have this grid and he is saying that in this grid my average is 9 this grid my average is 9 and in this grid saying that same it is 9 uh, same it is 9 and average intensity of both this now this is 9 and my this is 9 but if you see these two things these two things are repeated in these two regions in these two regions these two uh, columns has repeated in these two regions so we will do sum divided by 9 that means 18 divided by 2 that is 9 so all are 9's so same thing you can dry down for this as well you can dry run for this and for below then you will get it now if you see here now if you see here we have 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and is saying that my threshold is 1 my threshold is 1 and if you see uh, if you see uh, if you see this one this is my whole subgrid and this is my whole subgrid and if you see this 12 and 9 these both are adjacent these both are adjacent the difference is 3 and this is greater than threshold so it is not a valid thing not a valid so he has copied all the values into the result and returned it because there is no values suppose if at least one exist if at least one grid exist then we will calculate the sum and divide it by one if two sum divided by two now let's see now let's see the approach it looks like a very big code but it's not it's simple now i am using map to store whether my grid is occurred at least once i am storing map of pair int comma int and i am saying that if at least my cell if at least my cell is occurring once so i will keep in the map or else i will directly store my vector uh, my vector answer into my original answer now we will iterate j is equal to 0 j less than c minus 2 as you know so we should exclude last two elements because this 3 cross 3 grid if you are at this position you can't form a 3 cross 3 grid now then j less than c minus 2 s is equals to 0 f is equals to 0 if is my flag i am checking whether it's valid or not and at every position s is equals to s plus v of x and v of v of x y now if it is adjacent for adjacent we are checking now if we are at this position we are checking towards right side and down for every position now if we are this down and you, go, you will get a doubt that if you you are not checking towards the left but if you are at this position this element gonna check this element gonna check because this is an absolute difference because this will cover over here that's why i'm not checking minus one only i'm consider about right and down right and down x plus one is less than i plus three then i will check if it is greater than threshold f is equal to one then i will break it out same thing for the 
row and column if we are checking in these two situations and if my f is equals to 1 that means it is continue it is my not a valid grid my threshold is uh, my k is greater than threshold and again we are iterating it and now we calculated the sum we have calculated the sum here so this is the first time if we are visiting if this is the first time we are visiting then m of x comma y is, is equals to s comma 1 we are storing the sum and we are saying that it occurred only once now if it is occurring in some other grid it can possible in some other grid if it is occurring in some other grid we are taking p p dot first plus second we are incrementing this and we are doing this i plus plus p dot second plus plus that means plus one and in this way we have built my map and this is my answer i am taking row and column as initial x and if if my this is not valid if suppose my cell it is not valid in any grids it is not valid for any grid so directly i am storing my v of ij in my answer if it is a valid one if it is a valid one then p dot first divided by p dot second that means this is my sum and this is how many times it has repeated so divided by p dot second and we are storing it answer and we are returning it so if you see here the time complexity will be order of n into n not n into n into n power 4 because if you see here this is this is only 3 cross 3 grid 3 cross 3 which is order of 1 only 3 cross 3 that is order of 1 so it will be order of n into n so i think you understood the solution i tried my best to explain you in a best possible way so if you understood it please do like and if you are new to the channel please subscribe and like i have created a whatsapp community so you can join there we will discuss uh lead code problems and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye